This is a thermocouple of the type used with gas safety valves. A thermocouple is a transducer that converts heat into electrical energy by what is called thermoelectric effect. In particular the voltage produced by a thermocouple is a function of the temperature at its hot junction. And that is why we are used to seeing thermocouples as temperature probes on multimeters. If you are not familiar with the subject, I recommend you to watch Dave's video tutorial on that, entitled EV Blog No. 419 Thermocouple Tutorial with the corresponding discussion on the forum. Gas safety valves are designed to turn off a burner if the pilot light goes out. The thermocouple hot junction is placed in the flame and provides enough current to power an electromagnet which holds the valve open. And that is kind of amazing, since you will not need a complicated circuit powered by batteries or any other external supply. Here the linearity of the Seebeck coefficient in volts per Kelvin is not important as it is for metrology. The problem we have here is that the safety valve which this thermocouple belongs to will not stay open, and will cut off the gas supply even with a steady flame. Analyzing the system schematic in more detail reveals that the thermocouple itself could be causing the problem, or perhaps the electromagnet, or even a mechanical failure. Right from the start I noticed that the thermocouple cold junction, that is, its terminal was loose in its socket. So I decided to remove it and inspect it. We can see that our specimen here is pretty crusty. Its conductors are protected by a copper tube and here we have its connector for the cold junction, which is also very much affected by corrosion. My suspicion falls on the poor contact of the cold junction. I will remove this crud and return in a moment. So here we have the hot junction free from the accumulated oxidation. The tip is encased in stainless steel or something. The connector is also clean. Although it must have its raison d'etre, I am not particularly impressed with this kind of connection, because we have at least four or five points of contact in series which can become points of failure. The tip of the connector is apparently made of stainless steel. So now let's see if this thing is working properly. Here we have our multimeter set to millivolts, the probes are touching the copper tube, which is one of the poles, and touching the tip of the connector, which is the other pole of the cold junction. We are going to heat up the hot junction and see what happens. Here we go. After around 15 or 20 seconds it stabilizes around 15 millivolts. After we remove the flame the voltage starts to decrease also instantaneously. It takes more than one minute for the voltage to go under one millivolt. Well it seems that our thermocouple is okay. But I am curious to see its current capability, because that is what is going to generate electromagnetic force, provided the electromagnet coil has a low resistance. Now the multimeter is set to amps and here we go again. Impressive 47 milliamps. Now the thermocouple is firmly attached to the old safety valve and you can see the electromagnet there, and the spring that maintains the valve closed. I am going to light the pilot and see what happens. Well, after almost 20 seconds nothing happened. This because the current generated by the thermocouple is not enough to attract the valve shaft which is away from the electromagnet. Now if we press the reset button. We open the valve and get it close to the electromagnet. If we now hold it while the thermocouple is being heated up by the pilot light, we can release it and the valve stays open by action of the electromagnet. Now if the flame goes out, we can expect the valve to close at any moment. And the moment is now. I will repeat it so you can see it again. Pay attention where the tip of the screwdriver is pointing at. So problem solved. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a good night and stay beautiful.